This is the splendid Freer Monument, just outside the War Museum buildings. And lining the pathway to the monument are commemorative stones marking the details of the people who perished in all of the 40 concentration camps during the South African War. These only list the details of the whites that perished. For some, the quantities of the dead are very high. For others, almost none died. But the total casualties were quite horrific. Thirty-six thousand three hundred and seventy women and children died in the concentration camps that we know of. And at the base of the monument is the tomb of Emily Hobhouse. She was a great champion of the Boer cause here and did an enormous amount to alert the British public of the terrible sufferings and privations that these people suffered. In front is the tomb of President Stain, together with that of his wife. The next to him is the tomb of Christian de Vette, who died in 1922. And behind me, with many wreaths, is that of John Daniel Kestel. Of the 54,000 Boers who ultimately went to war, only 12,000 12, were still in the field at the end of the war. And they are known as the bitter enders, the bitter enders, those who stuck it out to the very end. The name of the sculptor, M.C.E. van Skoor, a mixture of British and Boer rifles, because by that stage of the war, the Boers were using almost entirely captured British equipment. Again, a Lee Enfield 303, Mauser, Mauser, Lee Enfield. Everything patched or torn. The Bunlinger depicts those men who were captured and became prisoners of war, many of whom were sent to prison of war camps overseas. 31,000 Boers were captured during the war these two, the young and the old, standing on the side of a ship taking them far away from their homeland. This is the large cenotaph type memor uh, memorial in the, the old cemetery in Bloemfontein on which are recorded the names of approximately 1,800 British and Empire soldiers who lie buried here. I'll try and get the names of all the Australians who are listed on this. New Zealanders, Queenslanders, South Australians, Tasmanian Mounted Rifles, men from Victoria, a lone Western Australian. This is a view of this huge cemetery here, but all the graves are now smoothed over, it's mostly lawn, 
and a few more permanent memorials are still left as evidence of what was once a huge military cemetery. It still is.